Peter Cushing, The Gentle Man of Horror and His 91 Films, by Deborah Del Vecchio is a comprehensive exploration of the life and career of one of the most iconic actors in the horror genre. Through her detailed analysis, Vecchio not only sheds light on the extensive filmography of Peter Cushing but also provides valuable insights into his unique contribution to the horror genre and his portrayal of memorable characters. The author begins by presenting Cushing as a paradoxical figure, a man known for his gentle and refined nature, yet celebrated for his portrayal of sinister and terrifying characters. This contrast sets the stage for Vecchio's exploration of Cushing's versatility as an actor and his ability to embody a wide range of roles within the horror genre. Vecchio delves into Cushing's early career, highlighting his theatrical background and his passion for acting. She emphasizes how Cushing's dedication to his craft and his meticulous approach to character development elevated his performances and set him apart from his contemporaries. By delving into Cushing's methodical process, Vecchio allows readers to appreciate the depth and nuance he brought to his roles. Throughout the analysis, Vecchio provides in-depth examinations of several key films in Cushing's career, including his collaborations with Hammer Film Productions. She explores the enduring legacy of Cushing's portrayal of Baron Frankenstein, highlighting his ability to humanize and bring complexity to a character typically depicted as a mad scientist. Vecchio's insights demonstrate Cushing's talent for infusing empathy into even the darkest and most monstrous figures. Furthermore, Vecchio explores the significance of Cushing's collaborations with director Terence Fisher. She examines how their partnership transformed the horror genre, breathing new life into classic characters such as Dracula and Frankenstein's monster. Vecchio argues that Cushing's performances in these films added a layer of sophistication and depth that elevated the overall quality of the genre. Another noteworthy aspect of Vecchio's analysis is her exploration of Cushing's impact on popular culture. She highlights his enduring influence on subsequent generations of actors and filmmakers. Who have cited him as a source of inspiration. Vecchio underscores how Cushing's dedication to his craft and his ability to create compelling and memorable characters left an indelible mark on the horror genre and solidified his status as a cinematic legend. In conclusion, Deborah Del Vecchio's Peter Cushing, The Gentleman of Horror in his 91 films, provides a thorough and insightful analysis of the life and work of a revered actor. Through her exploration of Cushing's extensive filmography, his collaborations with notable directors, and his impact on popular culture, Vecchio paints a vivid picture of a talented actor whose contributions to the horror genre cannot be overstated. This analysis serves as a testament to Cushing's versatility, his commitment to his craft, and his ability to imbue even the darkest characters with humanity and complexity.